Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and President Joe Biden has made himself look ridiculous again. And during a conflict between Israel and Hamas, it was the absolute wrong time to look ridiculous. But he managed to do it. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. You know, Joe Biden gave a pretty powerful speech on Wednesday, standing in support of Israel. I was actually impressed with it. I thought, hey, Joe, you did a good job. And then he stopped looking at the teleprompter, I think. He went off script, and he had to say that he saw something that he didn't see. Now, the White House quickly walked it back. I'm going to show you both clips, and you make a judgment. I really thought that I would see and have confirmed pictures of terrorists beheading children. I never thought I'd ever... Anyway, I... Uh... But there are countries in the region that are trying to be of some help, including Arab nations, <clears throat> trying to be of some help. So, uh... anyway... This morning, the Israeli government is clarifying statements made and claims made yesterday that children were found de decapitated following the Hamas terror attack Saturday. The Biden administration is also walking back a statement that President Biden made about pictures of terrorists beheading children. CNN's Matthew Chance is in Jerusalem. He's joining us now. Matthew, some clarification needed on this. What are you learning here? Yeah, some clarification being given as well by the Israeli government. Um, uh, an official uh, very highly placed in the Israeli government uh, told me that, that they're not able uh, to confirm uh, that babies were decapitated, that dreadful story that we've all been sort of, sort of hearing about in these Hamas attacks. But they, they are saying that the decapitations happened as, long as, as well as other what they described as ISIS-style atrocities by Hamas militants as they attacked uh, Israeli settlements. But what the authorities here in Israel are saying now is that, look, we, we're not going to confirm whether these people were men or women, uh, whether they were soldiers or civilians, or whether they were adults or children. And so that's the clarification that's being given to us at this point, um, you know, in, 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 this, in this dreadful, dreadful story. But I think we have to bear in mind that, of course, you know, many, many children have been killed. Uh, the, the means by which they were killed is in some ways irrelevant. And, um, and that's what the Israeli government wants to do now is focus on, you know, that, that, that crime, that aspect of, of, of what's happened. Um, and so, yes, a, a lot of confusion, though, as you can imagine. Uh, there are still areas where the Israeli authorities have not retrieved everybody's uh, remains. Uh, there's still areas in the kibbutz uh, near the, the Gaza Strip where, you know, they've not been... This is not the time to make mistakes like this. Now, he probably misspoke, right? The fact checkers are going to say he misspoke. The White House is going to say he misspoke. Everybody's going to cover his backside. We got it. We got it. He misspoke, okay? But he's got a pattern and a career of lying and lying and lying and lying and saying he was places he never was, like he was going to go visit Nelson Mandela when he wasn't even there. It's it, it, This is a pattern with Biden. Just stay on what the teleprompter says, Joe. We don't have time for this right now. There's a massive war going on. We need a leader, not Mr. Magoo. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Also, please remember to like, share, and subscribe because it really helps us out. I'm Carmine Sabia. This is Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody.